This is David WA901Y. I'm going to install OpenShot on the Raspberry Pi 4 here. We go down to Preferences, Add, Remove Software. We will look for O-P-E-N-S-H-O-T. Hit Enter. Search in the repository for OpenShot. Repository is where software exists to be installed on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, we've got some transitional packages safely removed. Uh, that's not what we're looking for. Oh, here, let's pick. Uh, here's the open shot description. We can click on visit the project website. This is 2.4.3. Wow, 2.4.4, only a very minor difference. So that's a good sign. We'll go ahead and uh, close this. I'm just going to scroll down. Okay. We'll close the OpenShot website. We can uh, see the required packages. Quite a few, but again, the install package manager will take care of that. Uh, dependent packages. Oh, there is one. Okay. But that's the transitional package. Okay, so let's go ahead and click that. And let's also click the documentation. Okay, so we have both the program and documentation selected. Now we're going to start the install process. And as usual, it's going to ask for my password. Enter the password. It's not too bad. It's 4.6 megabytes. Downloading the package. OpenShot also runs on a Windows 8.2 uh, computer that I have a um, i7 core, fairly old i7 core in fact. The nice thing about the software, the open source software, is that uh, software typically can run on various different platforms. Like GIMP. GIMP runs on my Mac, runs on the Windows computer, it runs on the um, Raspberry system. And it also runs on the Ubuntu system I've got. We're now starting the install process. So I use several things. Uh, first of all, VO screen. We're recording this in uh, full 1080p. And then uh, I use GIMP to make uh, the appropriate titles in the video. I also have a Sony uh, 7S uh, digital camera that I take uh, still pictures and uh, video with and uh, use that in the uh, video. The uh, title introductory um, video clip for the YouTube video series for SDR was uh, created here with OpenShot. It had 14 different tracks uh, that uh, were put together to uh, make that uh, oh, several second uh, introduction. The OpenShot has quite a rich set of features of transitions. It will do uh, green screen things on the back. 
Okay, it looks like uh, we're wrapping up the install here. And usually what it'll do is it'll update. So it updated several things here. Added some libraries. We say OK. Now, again, I find it from past experience that it's best to do a reboot. We're back after a reboot, installing OpenShot. We'll find it here under sound and video. Let's launch it. Oh, let's um, open up a file manager. We'll take the video from the first part of the install process that we captured. We will drag it down to the track. And you can see that here we have the desktop. So it's quite amazing. I am doing video, video capture of the desktop and I have a video editing program open at the same time. This is David, WA901Y, 73.